Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's another movie. What we got here? This is Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. All right. I've been hearing lots of good things about this, and I've been very interested to see what happens here. Yeah, I've heard good things, too, so I want to see what happens. Well, let's go find out, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Oh. What happened to him? Oh, that's kind of sad, though. <laughs> Oh my god. Pushed by who? What were you doing? Where were you? I can see a lot of unanswered questions already. He has a gun, so it can't be good. No. Okay, that's a transition. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Japanese lyrics. I've been working with Barry. I am experiencing a calm like never before. Did you put peace out in the world? Do you get peace back? Oh, well, congratulations. Good philosophy. Ladybug. Mm hmm Your new operational name. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha, ha. Oh, oh. Well, you did survive that. Yeah, some luck right there. That's going to be the theme of this movie here, I see. I remember the suicidal bellboy climbed to the roof of his hotel, couldn't take it anymore. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well. <laughs> he survived. He's still alive. <laughs> Not for long. People are considerate. <laughs> Except that guy. Except for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> well said. I'm still in for Carver. You talk about a candidate for self improvement. Calling him sick. I mean, what is that, high school? What is this? <laughs> is it a weapon stash? Yeah. Please tell me you didn't order the sleeping powder. Nope. You almost gave that bodyguard an anchorage a heart attack. I've worked on the dosage. Oh my god. He's an assassin, isn't he? Yep. Apparently not a very good one, but... Well, I don't know. He blends in. Yeah. I assume you didn't take the gun? Barry says every conflict is an opportunity for a peaceful... Yeah, you might want it. Oh, yeah. Well, Nick and I don't have to Nick. He's gonna steal like that. Women in Tangerine. What kind of names are those? A briefcase. Intel says there's a train sticker on the handle. Owners will be in economy class. Uh, owners, plural? Sounds like Lemon and Tangerine to me. Could be. I pushed him. I guess the kid that pushed his kid. Oh my. Oh. You found her. Oh wow. Oh wow, she's evil. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I expected. 30 passengers per car, two bags per. Let's see. Yeah. No f way I'm gonna find one brief. Wait. What? Twin sticker on the hand. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right, well. Call it a day. Go to your one stop and get out of here. Oh, well, look at this. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bacon. Oh my God. This guy's got blah on him, too. Yeah. Your daddy hired us to get you out of the trouble you got yourself into. What is important are the 17 dead bodies we left getting you back from the triad that kidnapped you with the, Not the triad. 16 kills, mate. Oh, no, it was 17. E 16. Seven. You left one alive? How many people they killed on the hunger dick? One. Jesus. Oh, wow. Three. Two and three. Four. They're playing the West, uh, West Ham United fight song. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Is that what it is? Yeah. Big guy. Yeah, big guy. Oh, he's on time today! Oh. oh. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> Two more. Yep. Supposedly. You forgot to pour innocent civilian on a street. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he killed himself. Do you know what they call your papushka? The White Death. Not exactly a fruit. No. Mm. The White Death. Sounds tough. Mm. Yes, it is. Really? I think it Did is. Did you Google it? Doesn't matter. What would Barry say? Barry would say a negative outlook leads to a negative outcome. Lemon. Mm. Where's the briefcase? Oh, it's that shit. You freaking moron. <laughs> he doesn't need a reason to kill people like you. He needs a reason not to. He's a bad dude. I'm about to say, when you're just looking for reasons not to kill people. It was just it. Well, it's not anymore. We need to find a person who took that case. So somebody on that train was looking for the briefcase. They had the briefcase. They're totally not really connected to each other. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, no. He's covered in blood, too. Jesus. What? You are Yuichi Kimura. And you came here to kill me. I did have a pretty good reason. Hi. Yes, you can see the boy now. Oh my oh. god. 
Really? Get someone there. You don't hear from me every ten minutes. Kill Wataru. Are we glad we waited? Well, she's just messing with this guy. Wow. <laughs> when you were in, you were in. You were like family. He treat you like you were one of his own. Then out of the blue, comes this six foot six geezer from Russia. Jesus Christ. <laughs> John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Worked his way up the ranks. Became one of Minigishi's closest advisors. Oh, good for him. This geezer ain't a full ticket. He ain't to be trusted. Well, he's not Japanese. Like, why would you trust someone from outside your own country? So sure enough, they were right. Good God. Oh, the neck violence. But that's what those swords are made for, I guess. Yep. It's meant to be hit, somebody. Everybody's on fire. Good Lord. <laughs> he sure are. Did he take over the underworld? Oh, well. He playing roulette with himself, okay? Guess he's feeling lucky. He wiped my name and he gets you off the face of the earth in one single night. Well then, congratulations. Hmm. Look at me hire two random operators and start getting this back itself. If you actually read the briefings, you'd know that he had a wife. She was the most important thing in his life, and she died. Drunk driving accident or some shit. Oh. Oh. It's a serious drunk driving yeah. accident. Me thinks that wasn't quite an accident. <laughs> yeah. But no, he asked for the best. He asked for the two responsible for the Bolivia job. Oh, oh my god. god. What do these guys do? How are they not loaded with PTSD? That's a good question. You work for the most feared boss in the city, the White Death. You're going to kill him for me. There's a lot going on in this little train. <laughs> sure is. So, a slight change of place. Oh, who the hell did that? Well, that's a double fail. <laughs> now, you earned that name. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> corona extras. Feels like a Corona commercial. Oh, look at you, ladies' man. Mm -hmm. And this movie's all over the place. Yeah, it is. Afforded him a pretty swanky wedding there. Look at that cake. Mm, looks good. It's gonna melt out there, <laughs> probably. Really? Wait, wasn't this the same jacket he was wearing? I think it is. Poisoned. Oh. oh. Sweet. Good God! <laughs> For the poison the whole wedding. Must have been in the wine. No! I didn't see what got poisoned, did you? I think it was the wine that was... He didn't drink his. Oh, okay. He's got business. <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> yes. Alright, so we've come back to full circle to where he runs into... What, what is it? Ladybug. <laughs> Stab me? Wasn't he talking about getting the dosage right earlier? I killed my wife. I would find you. Why? <laughs> oh, oh, easy. Watch your hands. Oh, oh he's oh. by. He's got clumsy fighting skills, though. It's working. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. oh, you lucky bastard. Right in the heart, too. Oh, no. Mi corazón. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh. oh, he broke his neck too. Jeez. <laughs> Most random death. <laughs> so this guy's got all the luck. That's why it's called Ladybug, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna stage him? That's pretty With the knife still on his chest. Yeah. Don't mind my friend, he's dead tired. <sighs> God's sake. Maybe exit the other side. Yeah. So Dan is very Oh, he does. He knows all these guys. Well, at least they know him. That better not be another assassin in there. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh oh. Seguado, <laughs> the cartel boss. He was in the wedding you infiltrated in Mexico. Uh oh. You son of a bitch. You were there. Your orders were to stay on the train. Good catch. I'm a professional. We're making sure the case and his son are perfectly safe. I please go do my job now. If something oh, is very kind wrong. of you. Thank you very much. Oh, these are not the people you hang up on, man. They're not gonna like that. No. Me. Very rude. Talking on the phone on the train in Japan. Chop that hat up your f***ing arsehole. You hear me? Well, that actually is rude. But yes. okay. <laughs> didn't happen to see someone come by with a silver briefcase, did you? A man with black framed glasses had it. He went that way. <laughs> mm. Hi. There's a gun under the Shh, bro. It's the quiet car. Got you some small inside voice in his. <laughs> For God's sake. You don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's harsh. <laughs> you shot me. I shoot a lot of people. You shot me twice. How? 
How did you know that was there? I've always been lucky. <laughs> She's falling over. <laughs> Weekend of Bernie's, this guy. <laughs> Between us now sits a wall. It's an illusion. For within every wall, I wait, it's, it's a door. Every day is headache when you're in it. <laughs> Probably. Well, if this one's any uh, indication. But then you went and killed someone, didn't you? Did you? There was a gun under this table. He's dead as that kid over there. Huh? <laughs> They're managing to be quiet. Your lives are in danger. Don't worry about quiet. Karen, even Japan. Yeah, seriously, Karen. Mind your own business. <laughs> Jesus. Shot number three. Gotcha. Oh, good move. <laughs> he punched the body. That worked out. I don't know. I ain't got the time or the patience. Damn. Find the interest. I think that mascot's had enough. How did this escalate to this? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody's hearing that? Or that? I'll call the conductor. Eat a bag of dicks, lady. <gasps> Anything to get her to shut up. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> there you go. Put that in her water. Oh my! <laughs> so much for dosage. The kid was poisoned in the same way as El Sabaro was at the wedding. It's El Seguaro. <laughs> El Sabaro. The, the pizza joint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, snake! Is that the snake? Yep. Yep. The boom slang. Hold on. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'll make an easy 200 bucks. Was this like a, like a sex thing? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh no. And there goes the snake. Yeah, Jesus. It's gonna kill everybody. It's gonna turn into snakes on a train. <laughs> Tell me, and I promise I'll only shoot you enough. Whoa, whoa it, um, <laughs> is, is this the sex stuff? The sex stuff? <laughs> I do love an accent. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, he actually went for it. I guess he did. <laughs> Gave him a chance to split. So ridiculous. Be honest. Yeah, you did. Don't know That's what I mean. That was an interesting response. Yeah, it was. Off the train at the next stop, White Death wants to make sure you're being honest about the situation. Oh no! <laughs> what are you thinking? The old punch and Judy? Judy? Which is what? I have no clue. Where's your twin, Tangerine? I'm Tangerine. Lemon's keeping the case safe. The White Death son? <laughs> <laughs> it is wicked at Bernie's. I didn't mean it. I can't believe oh. that works. Hey, look, be careful. Something else is going on here. Glasses. He has not our guy. Must be another player we haven't seen yet. That's what I'm saying. You think it could be the damn mascot? Could be. You can't see their face. How would you know who's there? Yeah, and they've already been kind of stopping everybody's progress. Mm -hmm. Do you know who he is, too? I guess she does. Everybody here's got connections. A lot of them know each other. Mm -hmm. If you try these smart toilets, they're pleasure to the senses. <laughs> I had one in the chamber. I would rock this bad boy right <laughs> okay, that's it. If I had one in the chamber. <laughs> yep, that's money. Holy shit. That's gold and money. Yeah. That's money backed by gold. <laughs> this thing with a broom up in my hand at any point. It's a gnat unless you fire it. Oh, see so how I pull the trigger. Yeah, she's uh, she's clever. Too clever. This thing goes by the name of the Hornet. <laughs> What the hell? Why are you poisoning everybody like this? Good question. Jeez, dude. Lady, I'm so... That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. ouch, yeah. ouch. I know who killed the kid. I couldn't give a rat's off. It's like the trolley on Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, I, I would love a bottle of water. That's the one. Domo arigato. Bro, I just remember I gave all my money to that guy to wear my Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> You're going to make him pay for your drink. 
<laughs> sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. I saw that coming. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Yeah, things moving like, what, 200 miles an hour? Yes. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to pull themselves in. Probably not. However, somebody could get thrown off easily. Oh, chopsticks. Through the eyes. Are you gonna get that? No! Not till you're dead. My test is to get off it next stop. Holding the briefcase or he will kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bad I'm having a case on you, dear. No. Do you have a gun on you? Don't like him. Well, he's just a poisoner, okay. He's doing fine without it. They even know what a lemon looks like. Wow, you two do look like twins, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Worked out nicely. Have you opened the case? Do you know what? I never asked for the combination. You know what I mean? Keep it safe that way. So no one gets greedy. Oh, no. <laughs> way to blow it. Oh, my God. That worked out. <laughs> but they will die at the next step. Oh, yes. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have seen a tiny white prick with a pair of glasses come through here, have you? <gasps> Oops. Oh, no. It's not ringing any... Uh, Uncle Komura, have you seen a silver briefcase with the uh, train? No, I haven't seen anything like that. I never said briefcase. Oh. Mm. I found my diesel. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna live long enough to worry about it. Probably not. Within that wall is a door. The door is closed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, so much for you. Did he actually get off? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> this man, he kidnapped me and he said that he's going to hold me for ransom. Are you buying that? Uh -uh. I'm really good at reading people and something tells me you are just not right. Pretty good instincts. All right. And whichever one of you is in charge, you're going to raise your hand. And whichever one is it, you point to one who is. Reggie! You, you, you said you couldn't kill us both. I did say that. Yeah, <laughs> you walked into your own trap. Well, if I don't answer this phone, you call. Kill what I do. She pointed at him. Oh. Did, did, did he actually shot him? He shot him, yeah. Jesus, man. He's just he trying to protect his kid. He's had the absolute worst day. He made it. I don't effing believe it. I know what he's gripping at there, but... He should not be able to do this at all. The wind should just knock him right off. Yes. You are really... Good. You sure you didn't study? I mean, you're not even afraid. Your lips quivering. That's a tear. That is really authentic, mate. Like... Yeah, she, well, she's a girl. She can turn on the wet works. Mm. You are. Uh-oh. He's feeling it. Yep. Everyone loves lemons. Brad Pitt don't love lemons. That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> and no, he does not. Well, Brad Pitt's not the one poisoning everybody, remember? Oh, I guess not, huh? There was nobody in that particular car, okay. How did you do that? Just lucky, I guess. She has extremely good luck and the other guy has extremely bad luck. Don't you in this car? What? Oh. I hope he is wearing his vest. Hopefully. Yeah. Mr. Wolf, so you came to kill a hornet. Oh my. Well, look who's still here. Yeah. Oh. oh. That thing is hot. That's yep. the hornet. That's okay. the hornet. She's the one that's been poisoning people. Oh yep. Oh. Oh. She's jammed there right in there. There's something really unsettling about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was there. Wow. Pastry chef. Wait a minute. It had nothing to do with the wine? Okay. Guess not. When did everybody have a chance to... When did they have a chance to eat cake? Bitch. I don't know. That was your... We should really call the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how she's making this poison. Oh, good catch. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals, clogging your veins. He already knows. Fucking oh, sick. Yeah. I don't need an explanation. They said my money was in the case. What? Someone paid you to have the kid killed with his own ransom? Wow, that's dark. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> the hornet stings, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Oh. Oops. You didn't push down, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're screwed. You have the anti venom? She, you know she does. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh shit! There you oh, go. Oh, <laughs> what do you think, bitch? 
Who are you calling bitch? Yeah. He found Lemon, didn't he? I'm waiting for him to cough awake. That's what I'm doing too. Snaps back and like, what are you doing? I will meet you at Kyoto Station. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look into your eyes when I kill you and your brother. He's with his train. Jesus, they've always been like this? Okay. I guess so. They grew up as assassins. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. You're that girl, aren't you? The man and he was holding me hostage. He just said that a pretty girl makes a good hostage. Yeah, well, we ain't wrong there, but... <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. He put the diesel on her, didn't he? Yep. You dirty little diesel! He made lemon blade, and lemon never blades. Oh my god, make them bleed! <laughs> of course. Really? What are you doing, you felon? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Morons. All of them. No, no. my God. Jesus. What the hell? Now he, now he has to bleed out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Leave it. Let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. No, I can't. Right now, young lady. No. It's our last chance. No, no, no. no. Please come back. Just stay right Just there. Just stay right there. Don't get on this train. There's nobody on there. She's safe. Oh, for God's sake. She got it. I got it. It's not your fault, kid. Why did you get it? You're a moron. That's what it is. Yeah. You have no idea who you're sitting next to. You're not going to let me get hurt. Be honest. Be honest. You shouldn't even have thought about it. Oh, he heard it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> right. Let's just move. And grab your back. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's a good thing he took all the antidote. Jesus. I know. Oh! Get it off. Please! No! Oh, Drown its ass off. <laughs> Ridiculous. They are both dead. He didn't get his call. What makes you think I would leave him unprotected? Mm -hmm. Oh. You little Yakuza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, that was satisfying. <laughs> yes, it was. I wonder if he's the original Yakuza guy who got replaced by the White Death. Ooh, maybe. I'm going to tell you a story now. No, I'm good. It's a good story for you, I think. <laughs> I'm cool. You just want to tell the story, <laughs> don't you? The Elder. The Elder, okay. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Minagishi told me I had lost my appetite. He was not wrong. But neither was I. That's too bad. Mm. Oh. You got a sword to leg there, buddy. The White Death had taken everything from me. Almost. What a tragic story. Well, your son's still alive, okay. He hid. Smart kid. Do you know what they call a ladybug in Japan? Tentomushi. It holds all the bad luck so that others may live in peace. I don't want to hold the seven sorrows. <laughs> <laughs> My son is few cuts up. If you could escort him off this train. Yeah, I don't see the White Death letting any of us off this train. You let me worry about the White Death. He's got a sword in that cane. You know, you he, know does. he does. Yeah. Oh, he's still alive. Look at that. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, killers watching family. Mm -hmm. You shot to me. Mm, me too. Twice. Still, he had another sandwich. Oh, he's oh. still alive. He was wearing the vest. Yep. Yes. <gasps> oh, you drank the water. <laughs> yeah, it's your brother's dead. Yeah. My brother. If you miss the train, I'm on. That's an appropriate song for you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> that would be train themed. You killed my brother. You piece of shit. Yeah, you, up. You, you shot me. Hey. I'll shoot you in the we prepare together or we die alone. That's all I was trying to say. Yeah, I'm good at that too. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna buy us some time. Well, it took all freaking night, but you made it. <laughs> White death. Well, here you are. The Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
interesting <laughs> choice. Deutschke. Oh, known. yeah, that worked out nicely, didn't it? <laughs> Hey, uh, fellas, I'm looking for Mr. Death. Got his <laughs> I came here to kill you. So kill me. Kill me like you did all the others who tried the same. And quit saying that. You are tipping him off. Exactly. <laughs> so you're not going to kill you after all that? She might still try to kill you. <laughs> uh, good news is I have your case. Hey, good news. Good news. <laughs> so jaded. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. Get on the ground. Oh, they, if only they knew. Mm -hmm. The shadow buyer who bought all our contracts, got us all on this, this train. I, that was you, right? Yes, very astute. <laughs> I brought you on this train hoping you uh, kill each other. Well, it kind of worked. Yeah. Fate put two. Wet work operatives on a job in Bolivia, butchering my entire crew. That is why it was my wife in the car. Oh. A piece of her rib piercing her heart. Only the most skilled cardiovascular surgeon could save her life. Oh, for God's sake. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. They said my money was in the case. I don't want to sound judgmental, but if you hired the Hornet, you had your own kid killed? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he wasn't that good. I told her not to leave, but she promised it was the last time we would ever bail him out of trouble. Oh, she's going to get him. If I had amputated that weakness, she would still be by my side. I, I have a good therapist. Yeah, I'm a, I might need to talk to him <laughs> on your behalf. <laughs> but now there is only one left. Mr. Carver. S excuse me? I'm the land for Carver calling him sick. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, thought it was Carver. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Go to hell. <laughs> Movie. <laughs> I'm not Carver! Oh. I killed half of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. There it is. Yep. Show them what you can do. Oh, shit. Something's happening. Oh, yeah. They're not going to stay up there for long. No, they're going to hit something. <laughs> Look at that hair on this guy. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, is he going to suffocate him with that? He's going to try. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Toy's taking a lot of abuse. Yeah, right? Damn. He's not Cut wasting up. any time, too. I love it. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Oh, God. Tore the mask right off his face. Oh, oh yeah, he did. That means he went upward. Yeah. Why don't you you do the best you can to raise them right. <laughs> really? It's like a Russian David Carradine. I know. <laughs> I got this! Stop the train! What? <laughs> oh. oh, nice job. I wasn't expecting that jump kick. I wasn't either. The drop kick, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. Too easy. <laughs> Damn. Those are serious samurai swords, man. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh! 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 It cut him in half. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Breaks. We're good! I got it! Oh, yeah, the instruction book. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God! We're on the wrong track! <gasps> oh! Yep. Holy crap! How many people Look at what that's doing! How many people were in that train? Hopefully nobody. Jesus. You're ruled by fear. Fear of the one thing deep down you cannot control. Fear of fate. Good, Good shot. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, he'll be okay. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Everybody's uh, starting to get some good luck here. Yeah. He also shoots himself by accident. What if he goes out like that? Uh-oh. Fuck it. There's so much about to happen. Damn. Oh. 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 They got shredded. They got, a, they got turned into hummus. <laughs> what? 
What about the water bottle? What is this? Yeah. I want bubble milk tea. How about wagon wheel? Yeah. Wait, what happened to the tea? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that water has been on a journey, hasn't it? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> really? There you oh. go. Oh, oh! It's too hard. Oh, come on. Mm. Ragnar was good kid. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's going through the cars. <laughs> oh, he is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those houses. Don't know. People are dying. <laughs> yes. Oh. Good Lord. He really is, isn't he? My goodness. What an interesting turn of events here. <laughs> it's the snake. Even that snake's lucky. Uh. Oh. You How is that even possible? He chopped your heart in half. I'm not Carver. I only do snatch and grab jobs. Carver, I want the Carver. I hired the Carver. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, oh no. Just let it go. He's gonna blow up. Yep. <laughs> okay. <He's> gonna... <laughs> oh wow. Took it all. Dude, did you see that? <laughs> Oh, dude, my shoes. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not my tennis shoes. <laughs> oh my God. It's my luck. Jesus. That delivered my father's corpse at my feet. Narcissism on this. <laughs> Some suggested reading, if I may. Surviving borderline personality disorder. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're just a white dead girl. <laughs> is that calm? Is that calm? That's a well, is that a tangerine? Tanto mushi. Tangerine. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> that is a lot of karma. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is this the person been on the phone with you? Probably. Is that Sandra Bullock? Maria? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> We're almost there. You just need to get up. You came to rescue me. Please don't make me regret it. You were the greatest, most wonderful... Oh, stop simping. Come on. Maybe there's no bad luck or good luck. Maybe we're all just agents of fate. Ooh, nice car. Yes, it is. Try not to bleed on <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Hope that wasn't a rental. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> Fate did not want us to get in that car. Fate needs me to find a smart toilet. I take that back. Okay, yeah, Fate needs us all to have one of those. We I think so too. I bet by now he's got one on, one in the chamber. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, there he is. Oh, that. What's that doing in there? <laughs> oh, oh, he was driving okay, the truck. Yeah. And drinks. <laughs> That worked out so well. Final curtain, huh? Final curtain! Take a f***ing bow! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was glorious. Uh, okay, so a great movie. Great payoff. A great payoff because it, it started out with a very slow buildup. It took time getting wound up. Yeah. And then, my God, did it just, like, speed up like that train, man. Yeah, it did. It was great. Yeah, cause that whole first half, I'm sitting there like, okay, I see what her plan is. She wants to kill this white death guy. I was like, you have so many moving parts here. Who knows what's going on? Yeah. Anything could go wrong at any time. And yet somehow everything worked out. I was happy it did the, the way it did, honestly. I couldn't have rewritten that any better myself. I feel like if I would have done anything differently, though, it's like maybe, maybe tone it back on some of the dialogue a little bit. I think he put too many damn jokes in this. I think so too. I mean, you spent a lot of time establishing these characters. And don't get me wrong, they're great characters. But yeah, you probably could have cut out a good 20 minutes of this movie and it would have been just fine. Yeah, and it's like, and toned down on all on trying to be so funny every time. You know? Yeah. Not everything has to be a, has to be a freaking joke, so. And the thing is too, these are supposed to be professional assassins. At a certain point, then you start acting professional. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm looking at all these guys, I'm like, why are you all clowns? You yeah. Know, 
you can't all have like the same type of personality there. So. Like I don't need to hear Brad Pitt philosophizing about life every five minutes just for the end result there. Exactly, it's driving me nuts there. Yeah. I'm like, wow, your uh, your California is coming out in a big way here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I like all the uh, all the celebrity uh, the cameos, the cameos yeah. coming in. Oh my god, one of I think my favorite one there was Channing Tatum. Yeah, <laughs> the, the guy on the train, <laughs> and he was like, "Are we gonna do this stuff?" <laughs> I was sitting there waiting. Okay, this guy's an assassin, right? Nope, he just kind of no, disappears. He's just there, yeah. And Ryan Reynolds does the guy that he's replacing. So that was like the shortest cameo of them all, too. I mean, he was just there and. But it's important wasn't... to the story. Yes, it was to understand why uh, why he's not the guy you're supposed to kill, Mister uh, White Death. Yeah. He filled that role in beautifully, I thought. Mm, mm. That was great. Now, and the, and the whole time, Sandra Bullock is the voice on that phone. Yeah, I'm sitting here wondering, like, who is this person that you're talking to? Because you haven't introduced her whatsoever, right. and she shows up at the end. Because I couldn't place the voice. I couldn't either, oddly enough. So, I mean, I knew it would happen, but still. <laughs> I gotta say, the, the White Death's plan there is a little bit convoluted, though, don't you think? Like, you have all these different assassins who, in some way or another, were involved in the incident of your wife's death. Bring them all together. Have them basically try to kill each other. Wait a minute. What about the what about the wolf there? I forgot what he did, had anything. What did he have to do with her death? I don't know. I don't know what the deal was with that. No, because well, we, we understand why he was there to... Who he was there to kill. Although he was after the no, wrong no, no. target, but still. No, he didn't hire the, he didn't hire the wolf. The wolf was after the hornet. He hired the hornet. Oh. Yeah. Okay, no, how did how did you know where the hornet would be? Because he he called and asked because the hornet was the one that killed everybody at the wedding. So he, the hornet is the one that he was looking for. So he he asked his guys to find out who did it. They found out that it was the hornet and told him, hey, this is the woman to go kill. She's on this train. Oh, that is so interesting. Yeah, like I said, it's really convoluted plot here. Anything could have gone wrong at any time, and this whole thing could have fallen apart. Yeah, right. Well, then why mess with the like tangerine and lemon there? The whole time, like, I want to see you guys come out together here. You know what I mean? The reason why he wasn't in town when when this assassination attempt occurred on his wife is because of them. They did a job in Bolivia, so he had to go to Bolivia to clean it up and in his absence. No, no, no. What died. I'm saying is, like, why mess with them at every train stop? Like, ask them to come out and show the briefcase, all that stuff. Like, why do any of that? You didn't care if your son died in the end or not. In fact, you were okay with it. So... Because because he was a cancer on your on you and your on your wife's life, but but you wanted him alive and you wanted tangerine and lemon to constantly prove that you've done part of your job. Meanwhile, you're trying to make everybody kill them, kill each other, including them. So I think in that regard, the plan did kind of go awry because obviously he knew his son was going to die. He hired the other guy to steal the briefcase, so he knew that they were going to fail on every every attempt. So it's like okay, well. I know you're going to fail, so it gives me a perfect excuse to kill you. And they kind of knew that, too. They're like, okay, well, we can't come back to this guy empty handed unless he's going to kill us. Okay. Which, which was totally his plan. He was going to kill it. Oh, for God. You know what? I know I asked. I don't want to know anymore, actually. <laughs> Good God. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. The, the plan is ridiculously convoluted. Way too complex. Yeah. yeah. But, like, the other thing is, just it just hit me. The White Death, his entire family is wiped out. Yeah. They're all gone. <laughs> he killed his own son, killed himself thanks to his daughter, and then his daughter thanks got Thanks to women, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All of that. Yeah. Well, that, worked, that couldn't have worked out better if you were the other guys. So. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, Yuichi's still alive, the Elder's still alive, Brad Pitt's still alive, so the important guys mattered, or survived, I guess. I suppose so. Can't call them good guys because it's like, man, you're all still assassins. I think I say you're all Yakuza and assassins and whatnot. I'll tell you what, a backstory into Johannesburg would be interesting. Like a full movie or just like a, a flashback? I think a little bit more into that. Like, why, why why, were you out there? Why'd you get shot? You know? Unless we just missed that part. I don't think it was relevant. I think the important thing was that they had met in the past. No, oh, all right. Bolivia, I think, would be more interesting to see. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bolivia would be very interesting. One of my favorite little pieces there was right there at the end was the that water bottle. Oh like, yeah. For me, it's like this would make a perfect little anthology piece, mm -hmm. like the life of a water, like the a water bottle's journey type of thing. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you could have made a short movie out of that. <laughs> you see how it, it end, how it ended up helping you get from point A to point B. I'm kind of surprised they didn't show it there at the end, just like laying out there by the train. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I only bring that up in passing, but I mm. thought that would be an interesting piece. So. Yeah. My God, I had no idea where this movie was going to go. I say I was, I was a little bit concerned there at first because, like you said, it was very dialogue heavy. There's a lot of moving parts going on. It was becoming a slog to keep track of. But then once everything finally, you know, hit the pinnacle, it's like, oh, okay, this is actually pretty fun. 
Yeah, and indeed they all did have connections to one another. Mm -hmm. It just makes sense now because it's like, oh, okay, you were all involved in his damn wife's death. Yeah, <laughs> in more or less, yeah. One way or another there. Who were they chopping up in Bolivia there, though? Uh, fam, we're going to let you take over from here because I know we're missing something. Oh, of course, there is the snake um, that just kind of slithered off into who knows what. Somebody will catch it. Uh, or it'll kill a bunch of people, one of the two. The, the, the shape the town is, anything's possible. So uh, we'll, we'll find out or we won't. I don't know. We'll, I don't we'll, think we will. It doesn't matter anymore. But nonetheless, guys, if you want to watch this, it's on Netflix. I highly recommend this. If you haven't seen it, it is very much well worth it. So mm. that'll be a great use of your time for movies. <laughs> and by all means, go watch it. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help our channel grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications for every time we drop another one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments, guys. Also, while you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Come see what we're up to over there, guys. But in the meantime, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, y'all.